Hello guys, in this quick video I want to show you various ways how to generate random string in Laravel and in PHP. There are various helpers, methods and their parameters. So let's experiment. For example, what if you just launch string random? In Tinkerwell I launch and I have random string generated. And this is one of the Laravel helpers for strings, so you can google strings and land on the official documentation and there are a lot of available methods here. So we will go through some of them in this video, but I want to emphasize that in the documentation you will see str as a class. So it's your personal choice, you may use that as a class and then include that on top. So use illuminate support str from what I remember and then do str random like this. Or in some Laravel version from what I remember it was Laravel 7 or 8 they released a helper str, which means that you can use that anywhere without including that class, including in Blade and basically in any Laravel file. So from that I prefer, from that time I prefer helper whenever I need it, but in the official documentation it's with the class. Okay, back to random. Are there any interesting parameters to that? And what is the default length, for example? Those questions could be answered in two ways. First, by looking at the official documentation so we can find str random and see that we can specify the number of characters. For example, if you specify five, you get five characters. But then the question is, what is the default value? And for some of those functions you will find that in the documentation, for others you won't. So that's why you need to dive into the source of Laravel and if you search for function random in the GitHub of Laravel framework in the string class, you may find that random length is default 16. So if you want to generate just a random string, str random is the quickest way. The next method I wanted to show you is password. So str password. You refresh and you have a secure password generated for you. And let's see what options do we have. In the official documentation we have length again specified and here it says that by default passwords are 32 characters long which is pretty long so it's probably more kind of human-ish to generate something like this. But if we search for function password in the official documentation, we may find more parameters. So letters, numbers, symbols and spaces. So for example, you can provide symbols false. We launch and we have a password without special symbols. No numbers, cool. Numbers false like this. It uses PHP attributes under the hood, named attributes so we can do that in any order and now we see no numbers here. So you can experiment with those parameters to generate the password you want. The next example of random string is kind of elephant in the room, it's faker library which is often used in the factories to generate something like for example if you need random number. We refresh and we have random number and similarly to str as a helper in Laravel 9 from what I remember they introduced fake which you can use in any part of your application. The most often use case is still factories but for this demonstration it's perfect. I don't need to include or use anything else or create an object. I just call fake as a helper. So this is random number but what if you want to generate random string? One of the ways is a function called scphy and you provide a parameter of eight asterisks which means eight characters. But also there's regexify, so regular expression. Regex and as a parameter you provide a regular expression like this one for example, eight characters of numbers or letters and then this is generated. So this is useful if you want to generate kind of a random string but not really random because you may provide the parameter of a pattern in a regular expression way. And of course fake library has a lot of features to generate specific things like fake name for example, fake street address from what I remember. Let's launch that. So you have street address phone numbers and stuff like that. So I want you to dive deep into that library. I will link the full documentation in the description below. You will find a lot of methods for specific cases. The next example let's go back to string and let's put that fake result as a parameter of a string helper like this and let's use a mask. So you can hide some characters in your string after generating that. So for example fake credit card number and then you mask that with asterisk symbol all of the characters 
except for the last four ones. As you typically see credit card numbers appearing with only last four digits on the screen. We launch that and this is the result. Or in fact, it should be the other way around. So from zero to minus four. So these ones should be masked. So this is how you generate random string or not that much random, but also hide some of the characters. And finally, we can use PHP functions, not necessarily Laravel helpers or fake library. For example, there's a function called unique ID in PHP. This is a PHP function. We call that one and this is the result. The official documentation for PHP says it's for unique ID, but technically you can generate any string with that. And if you want to generate a random number, for example, you can call empty rand or just rand providing the range for example from 10 to 100 and this would be a number wait is that 100 let's refresh that's 22 okay so it is random so yeah these are just a few helpers to generate random or not so random strings in laravel in faker and in php did i miss something did you use any specific methods for your case share your experience in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to get other videos on Laravel, PHP, and other related topics. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.